Hello everyone. Fungi are the most important pathogens causing major yield losses in cereals, pulses, oil seed crops, vegetable and food crops both in quantity and quality. Several different control or management strategies are followed for controlling the fungal diseases of crop plants which include cultural, chemical and biological methods. In this module, we will study the various strategies for inducing fungal resistance in plants. The learning objectives of this module are fungal diseases, host pathogen interactions, mechanisms of disease resistance, molecules involved in defense, genetic engineering for fungal resistance, RNAi for engineering fungal resistance. Fungi are the most important pathogens causing major yield losses in cereals, pulses, oil seed crops, vegetable and fruit crops resulting in severe yield losses both in quantity and quality. The Food and Agricultural Organization FAO has estimated that each year 25 percent of the world's crops are affected by fungal pathogens with an annual loss of about 1 billion metric tons of food and food products. It is an utmost important aspect of farming community of the world to mitigate fungal diseases in order to reduce yield losses in field and also during post harvest. Several different control or management strategies are followed for controlling the fungal diseases of crop plants which include chemical and biological methods. These fungal diseases can be controlled by the use of fungicides and other agricultural practices. However, new races of fungi often evolve that are resistant to various fungicides. Disease is caused when a virulent pathogen infects a susceptible plant and this interaction between the host and pathogen is termed as a compatible interaction. Disease resistance is seen where there is an incompatible interaction between the host plant and pathogen. In this case, the host plant can recognize the pathogen and launch a defense response against it. There are two strategies used by pathogens to infect plants. The necrotrophic pathogens are brood killers. After infecting a plant, they kill it and then grow saprophytically on dead plant tissue. The biotrophic pathogens on the other hand require a living host till they complete their life cycle. Plants show various morphological, physiological and molecular mechanisms to prevent being infected by pathogens. The morphological and structural barriers like cuticle, wax, lignin, pectins, suberin and bark which form physical or structural barriers for the entry of pathogen into the plant. When the pathogen is able to overcome this barrier, the next level of defense is provided by pre-existing proteins like defensins and defensin-like proteins, phytoanticipins, etc. When the second line of defense is also overcome by pathogen, inducible defense mechanisms are evoked. These include race-specific responses through recognition of a pathogen avirulence gene product or AVR by a plant resistance or R gene the hypersensitive response and systemic responses which include systemic acquired resistance or SAR and induced systemic resistance or ISR. The R-AVR interactions constitute a form of inducible defense response and are seen to be specific for a particular race of the pathogen. They contribute to what is known as vertical resistance. In compatible interactions, Effectors of a virulent pathogen interact with the virulence target protein and alter host plant metabolism so as to favor growth and development of the pathogen. In the expression of disease resistance, the resistance or R gene products of a host plant can recognize the pathogen effectors and transduce the signal to launch a defense response against the pathogen. The effectors in this case are called avirulence or AVR factors. In nature, this evolutionary warfare between the pathogen and host goes on. The pathogen evolves new effectors that cause disease while the host plant evolves new R gene products and activate defense mechanisms. In the year 1955, Flohr put forth the gene for gene interaction theory which stated that for every resistant gene evolved in plant, there is a corresponding avirulence gene in the pathogen. The R gene products may directly interact with the effector molecule AVR of the pathogen or may interact with the complex formed by the AVR and the virulence target. Many AVR genes have been identified from different pathogens, but their products remain largely unknown. 
they are mostly secreted proteins. The R genes on the other hand are well characterized. All of them have a leucine rich repeat domain and most of them have a nucleotide binding site. The C terminal domain is a receptor domain involved primarily in recognition of the avirulence ligand. The central NBS domain a regulatory domain and the N terminal TIR or CC domain on an affected domain. The R gene products are thought to be associated with plant membranes. Though some resistance proteins may be targeted to the same location as their cognate avirulence ligands. A more general form of defense against pathogens is the hypersensitive response, which leads to localized cell death at the site of pathogen invasion, thus preventing its spread. This response is associated with various defense mechanisms. The ray specific response involves R AVR interactions which lead to the expression of various defense genes. An outcome of the R AVR interactions is the generation of signaling molecules like reactive oxygen species, nitric oxide and salicylic acid, which in turn activate proteases like caspases and cause cell death. Cell death is also associated with autophagy. However, the sequence of events in the expression of hypersensitive response are not known. Prevention of the spread of disease from the site of infection to the distal parts of the plants is mediated by two mechanisms in which intercellular signals generated at the site of infection move systemically to other parts of the plant to induce resistance. In systemic acquired resistance or SAR, signal transduction is mediated by salicylic acid. The induced systemic resistance or ISR signal involves jasmonic acid and ethylene. ISR signaling occurs in response to necrotrophic pathogens, beneficial microorganisms and even wounding, while resistance to biotrophic pathogens is mediated by the SAR pathway. There is evidence of crosstalk between these two systemic signaling pathways via a signaling intermediate NPR1. The host pathogen signaling mechanisms lead to the expression of genes coding for proteins that play a role in the expression of resistance. These include PR protein which include enzymes responsible for hydrolysis of pathogen ribosomal inactivating proteins, defensins, enzymes involved in the biosynthesis of protective chemicals called phytoalexins. Pathogenesis related proteins, the PR proteins are proteins that are expressed in response to pathological or related conditions. They include different hydrolytic enzymes like gluconases and chitinases, proteinases and ribonucleases, protein inhibitors, enzymes involved in reactive oxygen species metabolism, as well as some small peptides like thomatins and defensins. Some of the PR proteins are shown in the table. These proteins play a role in impeding pathogen progress in the plant and hence are associated with the expression of resistance. Pathogenesis related proteins were first observed as new protein components induced by tobacco mosaic virus TMV in hypersensitively reacting tobacco. PR1 is the most abundant of the PR proteins, is induced 10,000 fold in infected tissues and constitutes 1 to 2 percent of the total leaf protein. Ribosome inactivating proteins or RIPs from plants are proteins having N-glycosidase activity. These proteins remove an adenine residue from 28S RNA which prevents binding of 60S ribosomal subunit to elongation factor 2 and inhibit protein elongation. Plant ribosome inactivating proteins inactivate foreign ribosomes of distantly related species like fungi and disrupt translation thus inhibiting fungal growth. The small cysteine rich proteins such as plant defensins, thionins and chitin binding proteins exhibit antimicrobial activity. The antimicrobial action of thionins is due to their ability to form pores in cell membrane resulting in membrane disruption and cell death. Plant defensins are of various types. One group shows antifungal activity against various fungi in vitro. Another group consists of alpha amylase inhibitors 
which affect the activity of pathogen alpha amylases. Haven, a non-enzymatic chitin binding peptide from latex of rubber trees and agglutinin from urtica are chitin binding peptides known to have antifungal activity. They have two chitin binding domains and have been shown to inhibit fungal growth in vitro. Polygalactourinases are enzymes produced by fungi which degrade plant cell wall constituents. Polygalactourinase inhibitor proteins or PGIPs are inhibitors of polygalactourinases. These inhibitors interfere with the enzyme activity and prevent penetration of host cells by the pathogen. Phytoelexins are the product of plant secondary metabolism that are synthesized upon exposure to external stimuli like pathogens, elicitors or wounding. They include compounds like alkaloids, isoprenoids and phenyl propanoids which show antimicrobial activity. Currently, there are a number of strategies employed to prevent pathogen attack in field crops. Chemical fungicides are widely used but their extensive use has resulted in environmental and health hazards. Alternative farm practices like crop rotation and mixed farming with different crop species reduce the development of resistance in pathogens. Fungal antagonists which consist of microbes that inhibit the growth or kill the fungal pathogens are used as method of biological control of pathogens. Breeding practices like back cross breeding and marker assisted selection are used to transfer resistant traits in crop species. Genetic engineering is an alternative strategy for control of diseases and is an important component of disease management strategies. Genetic engineering is an attractive strategy to induce pathogen resistance in plants. From the earlier slides we have seen a large repertoire of proteins involved in imparting resistance to plants against fungal pathogens. These include genes involved in pathogen perception and signaling like the R genes and the genes of hormone biosynthesis and signaling pathways. Genes coding for PR proteins and other defense proteins like defenses, thionins, ribosome inactivating proteins as well as genes involved in phytoelexin biosynthesis pathways have also been used to engineer plants for improved resistance against pathogens. Some non-plant genes have also been used for imparting fungal resistance. An important aspect in using the genes mentioned is to drive their expression by a pathogen inducible promoter and not a constitutive promoter since the latter causes growth inhibition in transformed plants. SR35 or CNL proteins are receptor kinases that mediate recognition of pathogen derived effector molecules and also host proteins altered by the pathogen. On recognition, they activate host defenses. In the figure, we can see the transgenic wheat expressing an R gene SR35 from Triticum monococcum confers resistance to UG99 stem rust trace group. Alpha 13 glucan coats the fungal surface and protects it against antifungal enzymes like chitinases. This enables the fungus to evade the host plant innate hum immunity. The transgenic rice expressing a bacterial alpha 13 gluconase AGL rice showed resistance against several pathogens by removing the surface alpha 13 glucan that is indispensable for successful infection by the fungus. Non plant genes used for conferring fungal pathogen resistance. Manganins are a class of antimicrobial peptides isolated from skin secretion of the African clawed frog Xenopus levis. MSI99 is a synthesized manganin 2 analog with high inhibitory effects to a wide spectrum of microbial organisms including bacteria, fungi and viruses. Genetic transformation of Brassica napus with MSI99 M gene increased resistance in transgenic plants to sclerotinia sclerotiorum. Another genetic engineering strategy used for imparting fungal resistance is by gene silencing. Using RNAi strategy, one can target the pathogen genes involved in invasion, growth and pathogenicity by generating siRNAs in a transgenic plant that are complementary to target fungal RNA. The strategy is called as host plant mediated pathogen gene silencing. 
This approach is now being widely employed to develop plants resistant to fungal pathogens. For example, transgenic tomato plants resistant to vascular wilt disease by RNAi targeting of ODC gene by Fusarium oxysporum. Similarly, by RNAi approach, it was possible to control the powdery mildew fungi Blumeria graminis in wheat and barley. The module can be summarized as fungal diseases lead to large losses in crop productivity. Fungal pathogens show compatible and incompatible interactions with host plants. Incompatible interactions involve induction of defense responses in the host plant against the pathogen which include race specific responses, general responses and systemic responses. The hormones salicylic acid, jasmonic acid and ethylene are involved in defense signaling. Several defense related proteins have been identified like R proteins, PR proteins, ribosomal inactivating proteins, cysteine rich proteins, polygalactourinase inhibitors etc. These serve as promising candidates in genetic engineering of fungal resistance. RNAi has also emerged as a useful strategy for imparting resistance against fungal pathogens. Genetic engineering is emerging as an important disease management strategy. Thank you.